This will sound like strange advice, but hear me out for a sec. If you're really tired, I recommend doing a full body workout. Here's the thing, your vomit intensity was off, you didn't sleep enough, maybe your food intake was subpar. Regardless, this is a situation and you now have a few options. Either you go to the gym and perform a half-assed workout, skip it entirely, or do something a little bit different. Modify the parameters. I think the best solution is a full body workout because you will maximize your body's recovery for the next few days. What I mean is that if you're following an upper lower and say it's your Monday workout, you can do a simple full body session and then resume your upper lower on Thursday, Friday. In other words, your schedule will not be impacted for the simple reason that full body attacks all your muscles. You're already getting the muscle protein synthesis. And most of you are getting it in at least twice a week. So if you're doing a push pull legs, you could do full body, followed by two, three days of rest, then resume push pull legs. Repeat that simple. And then upper lower typically has one off day, but in this case, it will be full body rest, rest, upper lower rest. You see what I'm saying? That's the power of the twice a week full body which explains why the original template of Naturally Enhanced is designed this fashion. Of course, it's a three times option, even up or lower, but the twice a week really maximizes recovery. And you don't have to train full body year round to utilize its powers. So now I wanna add a little bit more to this. Let's say your workout was Monday. You can do a full body workout in that exhausted state, and then you're good to go, you rest, right? Or you skip that day, do full body the next day to compensate. Either way, you're gonna be fantastic schedule-wise. But personally, I recommend you just go to the gym and do the work. It's gonna be a very tough workout, maybe about two or three hours, but you know what? Once you're done, the exhaustion is gonna be through the roof to the point where you eat, go straight to bed. So don't attempt this if you're working out in the morning because your work is gonna suffer for this. You have to rest. And some people are under-recovered in the sleep aspect of things. And the training itself will stimulate your appetite as well. So you get a king size meal and then it's boom, off to bed. Now that may not be the best for your digestive health. It probably isn't, to be honest with you. But you're gonna sleep. And that's what you need right now. You need to recover and reassess. And the second thing is modifying the parameters of the full body workout. So I'm going to advise that if you're doing three presses, remove one. So you're bringing it back down to two. Same thing for the lower body and the back. One compound movement should be removed for every major body part. Or you keep everything in, but you subtract the volume a bit. So instead of doing a five by 10, you do a three by 10. And you could drop the percentages, say five to 15%. So kind of deloading a little bit, but not really. Because a true deload, you're reducing 30, 40, even 50%. And you're really reducing the exercises. And it's not just for one little session. So I'm not gonna tell you to treat this like a light day. You still go hard, you still push yourself. Hell, you can even max out or do the 90% instead of 100, right? But you subtract. You recalibrate, this way your entire body recovers together, but it's not totally beat down by the time you've done everything. You're just exhausted and now you gotta rest. So that's kinda how you maneuver your way around this. Again, it doesn't matter what program you're running, it could be a body part split, upper, lower, push pull legs. This technique will keep you refreshed and not negatively impact your schedule or gains. I think it's a really good option if you're feeling really exhausted at times. Because you can go in and do a half-assed workout, maybe your next session is not the best either, or you just do full body, suck it up, yeah, it's fucking hard. But then you chill out for an extra day or two because you can, and resume the regular schedule. So that's my advice, give it a shot, and let me know how it goes for you.